Are you someone who's excited or at the very least curious about competitive Crokinole and the National Crokinole Association Tour? If you are, you're definitely going to want to watch this video. This is just going to be a high level overview of the exciting changes that are coming to the National Crokinole Association Tour next season. My name is Jeremy Tracy of Tracy Boards, but right now I am not wearing my Tracy Boards hat. I am wearing the hat of as a board member of the National Crokinole Association, as well as I'm the chair of the subcommittee of promotions and membership. In this video, like I say, it's just going to be a brief overview of the changes that are coming. If you want to learn more, there's going to be links in the description box that will take you to the documents that describe this in detail. Also, there's going to be another video coming out, if it isn't out already, where myself, Andrew Hutchinson, and Connor Ryman, both are board members along with myself, and Connor is the chair of the competition committee. We do a little deeper dive on the changes I'm about to cover. The first one, just a general, a general change that we're making, is that since the inception of the NCA Tour, it has always started the season with the World Crokinole Championships in Tavistock. It is time for that to change. We've made the decision that that is where the season is going to end, not where it's going to begin. But we need a transition season. So the 2024-2025 season will begin and end with the World Crokinole Championships. Another change that we're making is fairly basic, but I'm going to cover it quickly before we get into the really exciting changes. And that is to the point structure. Up until now, it has always been your top t four finishes throughout the season that count toward your ranking. We are switching that to your top five finishes. There's more events, more excitement being generated, so we've, we're making that slight adjustment. There's also been a slight adjustment made to the points that are gained. Most significantly is the change to the doubles points that are earned for second place and further down. There, it's not worth quite as much as singles finishes. Again, in that, in that extra video, we go into more detail as to why that change is being made. The most exciting new element that we have is what we're calling a tiered system for your Crokinole tournaments. We're going to have a tier one, a tier two, and a tier three. A lot of the tier ones are going to be the current events that are already on the NCA tour. They're held to a very high standard. They're going to be worth full points, the 50 points for a win. We're also introducing a tier two and a tier three. The intention behind that is to make it more inviting for new clubs and tournaments to get themselves engaged and be part of the tour. And there will absolutely be an opportunity once you've had some experience running tournaments to upgrade yourself from a tier two, tier one, uh, sorry, a tier two up to a tier one. And the tier three is even a little easier to get your foot in the door. We still have standards, but they're not quite as elevated as they are for those tier one events. Again, there's gonna be links down in the description box below that you can read what are the criteria for each level of those events that we'd like to see as part of the tour. The, the real thing is we want to see the NCA continue to grow far beyond Ontario, New York, and where we're currently seeing it. There's a lot of amazing clubs popping up all over the world that are running great events, and we want to, to open up a door for them to become part of the National Crokinole Association. Now, along with that, the other update that we have, we already had a document on the NCA that was, uh, you know, your tournament recommendations. That document has been put on steroids. Connor Ryman, as chair of the competition committee, as well as a great group that is there supporting him and helping him and putting in a lot of time and effort, have made a document that is absolutely amazing to help set you up for success to make sure your first event or your next event is as positive as it possibly can be. There's quite a section that is recommendations. It's not prescriptive. It is not like this is exactly how you have to do it. We still want to leave the door open for some flexibility to make it work in your area, in your, in your venue. But then there's also the actual requirements. If you want to reach those different tiers, we do have to have some standards in place. So all in all, that's just a high level overview. Again, check out those documents down below. Check out the more in-depth conversation with myself, Connor Ryman, and Andrew Hutchinson. And if you're sitting there wondering what should you do now, if you'd like to be more involved in the NCA, I'd encourage you to either activate or apply for it to be a voting member of the National Crokinole Association so that your voice can be heard as we're making the decisions while we watch the incredible growth that is sure to come over the next few years. And if you already run an event or you're considering running an event, I'd, I'd invite you to apply and at least consider making that part of the National Crokinole Association. 
I, I firmly believe that if you do, you're going to attract more people, more excitement as people have an opportunity to earn a ranking. You, and with the supporting documents, you should be able to get that event up off the ground faster and easier than you could on your own. And I'll tell you what, when you get these events going and attracting players, you're going to have a boatload of fun meeting some of the coolest people in the world while you're playing the greatest game on earth. Make it a great day.